spoken to other people about this before, and it's um, it's it's funny because everybody's like, oh, well, I started with video first, but I can't do photo, mm-hmm. and I'm like the complete opposite. I'm like, yeah. well, I started with photo and I can't do video, and it's kind of like this that thing where it's like, well. I think that a photo for me was just um, what I ended up starting with. It kind of just was what it was. Um, And I think video, it wasn't unnecessarily that, um, like it wasn't necessarily that it was unappealing. I think it was more just so I didn't want to sit there and take the time to do (laughs) it. But now it's become like an industry standard where Mm -hmm. like you have to do both. You kind of have to. Yeah. You know, nobody's going to bring out two people and one does photo and one does video. It's kind of, you have to know both. And I like it. I mean, I like it because, like you said, it's kind of like this big thing that you can, like, experiment with. And you're not just creating a hundred, you know, different things. It's like this one big thing that comes together. And so I really like it. I mean, so far I've only done, like, recaps and stuff. But something that I'm really interested in eventually when I feel confident enough to is I really want to, like, learn, like, music videos and stuff, um, which that's way down the line at some point. But it's, like, yeah, it's, like, one of those things that I didn't find unappealing. It's just more so I think I was just kind of like, do I want to really go down that rabbit hole right now? Because it's just so much information and so much to learn and so much to experiment with. Which is weird, though, because you have – I always look at, like – as like an exponential growth. Yeah. So to me, like Lightroom is the base, fo- uh, videos in the middle, and then yeah. like 3D steps at the end of that exponential curve. So as I'm I now jumped. learning <laughs> into that, yeah, now as I'm learning into that 3D stuff, it feels like the same jump that I made from vi- uh, photo to video, where yeah. it's that same thing of like, oh, this is familiar, yeah. but not at all what I'm used to. It's yeah. weird that just like you said, yeah, <laughs> you went from one to three and now back to two. It's a very like unique pathway through that. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. I like... Yeah, it's it became super challenging because like I went from, you know, 2D, you're creating a photo to 3D where I'm like literally building stuff. And, you know, it, it, it became I mean, that took a long time to mm-hmm. be like, OK, like I can do this because it's, it's so much that goes into that like 3D stuff. Um, and I'm jumping back. I don't know. It's so no worries weird. at all. I just did a double take that we're already at 45 minutes. Yeah. And I thought we were like 20 minutes oh in. And God. I was like, whoa, yeah, we're flying. Uh, which is great because I was going to bring up the design stuff. And I was like, oh, I was going to do that later. And then I realized we're already at later. So perfect. Um, so then the design thing is, yeah, a fascinating point. I'm very excited to talk to you. So I know yeah. that you uh, have an architecture background and an mm-hmm. interior design mm-hmm. background. You said this is from school. This is kind of yeah. your, your mainstream focus yeah. with photography is on the side of that. So initially I wanted photo to be my main thing. I really wanted to do that. But then I got anxious about it. And so I'm like, well, I really want to continue and get a degree, right? Mm -hmm. And so I kind of went into this like completely blind to it. Um, It was experimental for me. It was going to be a challenge, but I think that's what I wanted. Um, I mean, I was always interested in like design, um, but just I didn't know that's what I wanted to do. And so I went into it. um, I'm actually graduating this semester. And so congratulations. Yeah, thank you. (laughs) And so I'm like about to be done. And looking back on it, I just saw it so much, so much information. And, you know, it's not that it's hard. It's just really demanding. Yeah. And so I think that's kind of – that's where pho- photo kind of became a side thing now. And mm-hmm. it's become my main thing. Like the interior and architectural stuff has become my main thing. And that's what I dedicate mo- more – like the most time to right now. Um, yeah, I kind of took a step back from photo and have been putting, like, all my time to, like, creating stuff. Like, There's such – yeah, it's a weird thing where they are such so mm-hmm. nearby to me, but also yeah. so far apart where like yeah. the in photo you're looking at something and figuring out how to make it look cool. And yeah. in 3D you're starting from scratch. Oh, like how do I design scratch. the thing and then yeah. make it look cool? Yeah. And that's always been like a really overwhelming mm-hmm. like sandbox to me of yeah. like I can build anything. So mm-hmm. then what do I build? But on the flip side, it's really exciting where I think concerts kind of got tiring to me also of like mm-hmm. everyone else here is seeing what I'm seeing. How do I create something that only I can see? Right. And that's where the 3D thing comes in. Yeah. Of like Whatever I make is 100% a product of my imagination. It's your yeah. And it may not be perfect. It might have other yeah, mm-hmm. pros and cons to it, yeah. but like it's mine. If it's nothing else, it is exclusively mine. It's technical too. Yes. I mean, it's, it's very technical. It's time consuming. I can't tell you how long I've spent looking at my computer screen and just being like, well, I don't like that. And then I start from scratch. Yes. It's, it's, it's a process. You kind of go back and forth and I've sat there and, you know, I'm like making these floor plans in like a notebook and I'll be like, okay, like I'll, I'll, you know, I'll go and put this onto the computer and then I'll be like, wow, I hate that. And so I'm like starting from scratch again and, you know, it's, but it's sort of the thing where at the end, it's very, very like, I don't know, it makes you feel like you did something amazing and you're like, well, this is mine. I made that, you know, and it's, you feel proud of yourself at the end. It's a big thing yeah. because it's like it takes so much time, you know, and it's like for me, 
it's that satisfaction that it's, I'm looking at. I'm like, I made that. Mm -hmm. I made that shit. Like, you know, yes. and it's, it's, it's a great feeling. Yeah. And so I really like the field that I'm in. Mm -hmm. It's it's interesting though how I kind of went from one to the other. I was gonna say it sounds like yeah. video would be the perfect way to like fulfill the creative like like ownership itch <laughs> without having to do all the extra like floor plants to make the sake. Like yeah. it seems like a perfect little hybrid for you there. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's what seems, I'm realizing I guess, yeah. now. I think yeah. I'm realizing that now. I I made that jump and I'm like, wait, I could have mm. <laughs> easily <laughs> slowly done that. Um, but I kind of just went from one to the other, and now I'm, like, backtracking. Just fire, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's fine. I mean, that's my – I guess that's how my <laughs> process works. But I'm enjoying it. I mean, I, I really look forward to the video thing and, mm -hmm. you know, combining that. Because now that I know 3D stuff, now that I know photo stuff, I mean, obviously – the 3D stuff is like architectural stuff. It's different. But at the same time, it's not so different. Not, it yeah. comes together because it's like your brain starts to think about things in certain ways. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, I mean. Also, uh, I assume in architecture there's a similar uh, – I assume this is similar. And please stop me if it's not. But yeah. in video, as I'm like creating – I'm um, thinking of uh, what did I create recently? I created a church at some point in the last mm -hmm. couple of years. And so in that church, I like you animate the camera. Yeah. Uh, and it also meant that I could animate uh, a fisheye lens. I mm -hmm. could a uh, fucking 900 millimeter zoom. Yeah. Like I could use any lens in the world. Mm -hmm. And because it's virtual, I can also fly around the church and I mm -hmm. can see what a camera looks like from the top, from the bottom, from the side. Yeah. I can like get a sense of all these angles. And now I feel like in real life, when I walk into a church or walk into a warehouse, mm -hmm. it's like, Oh, I've practiced exploring this with my camera, and I'm mm -hmm. a lot more comfortable going. Oh, this is where the camera should be. Yeah, I assume there's a similar thing that you've developed yeah. with architecture that then kind of enriches the photo, where it's like, oh, I don't need to take a hundred test photos. I kind of walk into the building and immediately go, okay, 35 millimeter in that corner, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, I've done that where I'm like, I'll create a, say, I create a building, or mm -hmm. I just finished a project. It was like a twenty thousand like square foot thing, and so I'm like looking at, it, I'm just like spinning around it, and like in my computer. And I actually went and visited the site in real life, and I'm looking at it, I'm like, well, I looked at it from this thing. I, like, imagine it, and it, kind of, it makes it easier. I mean, like, you, because you can literally do that on a computer, and then it makes your life easier when you, like, mm -hmm. those two work together in that sense, I think. For me personally, I think it, it's helped me with my photo stuff, too. That, to me, has been the best yeah. part of 3D. It's like yeah. that experience that I can't get in real life. I no, can't yeah. spend six hours with a car over <laughs> flying over the car and yeah. doing it. But I can set up a C-stand and get my camera over the car. Right, because you already saw it, saw it. And yeah. so you, you're like, okay, well, this is going to work. So, yeah, I mean, I think I mean, I mean, think it's helped me in every aspect, I think. Because um, now, I mean, I look at things differently. Like, uh, I'll look at, you know, a stand, a light or whatever. And I'm, all I think is measurements and then what it can look like from different angles. So it's like now yep. when I shoot in anything, I mean, I can shoot a show or whatever. I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to get it from, like, all these different angles. And I, I literally just sit there and I'm, like, pressing it for, like, forever <laughs> to try to get all the angles that I'm thinking of. So yep. I think it definitely makes you think a certain way. It's, like, yep. kind of switches your mindset a little bit. Yeah. And what do you like to create? Is it mostly building? It sounds like it's mostly architecture related or um, interior of architecture. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so the, the, the degree I'm getting is interior design. However, <laughs> I don't really like the whole, like, there's, like, this kind of, like, thing where people are, like, interior designers or decorators. And it's like, well, no, <laughs> we're not at all. That's what I would have thought. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know a lot of people do, but it's, like, I'm more into, like, the architectural side of it. So, like, the actual structures of things.